Mayor and Council, I'm sorry that I'm not able to attend your public hearing on the Canby Corridor plan in person. As a practitioner in Vancouver for 27 years, I did want to give you my thoughts on the subject. First of all, density is extremely important to the future of Vancouver. Um, in particular, density along transit lines is crucial. Uh, we've invested an awful lot of money publicly in building a transit line on the Canby Corridor. Now it's time to develop the density around it. The Canby Corridor plan is an exemplary proposal. The pedestrian first, the bicyclist second, the concentration on livable communities within, within walking distance around transit nodes is an extremely important idea and needs your support. We can reduce our carbon as a community on a per capita basis significantly if we move to a pedestrian oriented walking dis distance from transit hub city place where there are nodes of development such as um, suggested in the Canby Corridor Plan. Uh, it's important that we support high density at those nodes, that there be mixed use at those nodes, that there be facilities for the public to live, work, play at each and every one of those nodes, all within walking distance. We've invested over $2 billion in public infrastructure along the Canby Corridor. Now that investment has to be matched by densification on the corridor. The transit nodes represent fantastic opportunities to create mixed-use communities within walking distance of those transit access points. We need to have places to live, work, play, uh, and shop at each and every one of those nodes. The Canby Corridor Plan goes a long way towards that future. If we use the Canby Corridor Plan as a template for future transit corridors in Vancouver, we, we can move towards a lower carbon future. I know I'm speaking for, for many, including the 90 people that work in my practice, but there are many other people in Vancouver that will thank you for supporting the Canby Corridor Plan. It's the right thing to do.